Hello and welcome to module 6 of chemical kinetics and transition state theory. Today we are going to look at the distribution of speed and velocities. Uh, in last module we had looked at the Boltzmann distribution itself, but how, what can we do with that Boltzmann distribution is what we are going to look at today. Uh, in doing so, we will also uh, cover up one important topic that will be important later on which is the translational partition function. So, a quick recap of module 5, uh, we had given you a, a partial derivation of calculating the uh, equilibrium density matrix. Uh, it is given by this Boltzmann distribution e to the power of minus beta h where h is the Hamiltonian divided by q and q is called the partition function which is an integral over all space dp dq into e to the power of minus beta h. And we also discussed uh, how do we calculate average of any property. So, if I have any quantity let us say a as a function of some q and p in general uh, to so find the average of a I must integrate over all p and q uh, rho which gives me the probability of being at q and p multiplied by a which gives me the value at q and p. So, in the last module we looked at a few examples which is uh, uh, average momentum and average kinetic energy. Uh, so, before moving forward uh, let us do one thing which is going to be useful. So, I have written down uh, the definition of our rho equilibrium which is what we derived in the last module e to the power of minus beta h divided by uh, what this integral is basically the q. And I have written the Hamiltonian explicitly which is the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Uh, so, I want to just substitute this h in this rho equilibrium and see if we can simplify this equation a little bit. Uh, so, if I substitute what I get is, so I write h as sum over i p i square over 2 m plus v of q divided by integral of dq integral of dp e to the power of minus beta I write the same uh, big summation here. And uh, uh, summation in exponential can be converted into a product of exponentials. So, I write the same thing as e to the power of minus beta sum over i p i square over 2 m into e to the power of minus beta v of q divided by and I will do the same separation uh, in the denominator. I will write the momentum first because I have momentum first in the numerator. So, just to be consistent we write it as this uh, my bad it should be an integral not a summation. So, let us remove the summation let us put in the integral dq e to the power of minus beta v of q. Uh, so, what you notice that we have separated the terms as a function of t and as a function of q. So, this part we will define to be rho equilibrium of p only p note there is no q dependence in this. And this portion I will define of q, there is no p dependence in this one. Okay. So, uh, uh, in total I am writing this rho equilibrium of q comma p in separable form of rho equilibrium of q into rho equilibrium of p. Okay. 
where rho equilibrium of P is defined here and rho equilibrium of Q is defined here. So, uh, let us look at the uh, equilibrium function for P for a moment. We can actually simplify it a little bit more. So, I have rewritten the rho equilibrium of P uh, uh, right here. Now, the denominator that we have here, uh, my bad, this should be sum over i p i square over 2 m, this should be sum over i p i square over 2 m. Uh, so, this denominator that we get uh, is called the translational partition function. Why translational? Because it is simply kinetic energy. So, this is the partition function when V of Q is 0 for a free particle. Okay. So, this partition function is called the translational partition function and we can actually simplify it and calculate it. We can uh, find a uh, closed form answer for this. So, let us try to do that. So, this thing first of all uh, note that integral over dp vector is the same thing as integral over dp1 integral over dp2 till till integral over dp 3 n. Remember we have 3 n momenta, 3 n positions. Why 3 n? n is the number of particles. For each particle I have x, y and z. So, I have p x, p y, p z for particle 1, p x, p y, p z for particle 2, there on so forth. So, I have 3 n momenta. So, this is what I have that I have to calculate. Uh, well, we note that I can simplify this integral as e to the power of minus beta p 1 square over 2 m into e to the power of minus beta p 2 square over 2 m till e to the power of minus beta p 3 n square over 2 m. So, I have again taken the exponential, exponential was a sum form. Uh, so, I can take it into a product form. Okay. Uh, now, I note that this is equal to so, I separate all the terms out. take them to the corresponding integral. So, let us look at each integral separately. So, I have separated out all the integrals, all are independent integrals and I can evaluate them one at a time. So, that is the beauty of this. Uh, and this one integral is called a Gaussian integral from all over all space minus infinity to plus infinity. Uh, that integral form is uh, known, I have provided you the formula. And again throughout the course, any integral which is complex we will provide you. You do not have to memorize any of this. Uh, this is not really a maths course. Okay. So, uh, this thing here we note that uh, in my formula I have provided you this A. So, if A here will be uh, beta over 2 m. Yeah, it is the co co constant before my variable which is nothing but 1 over 2 m k b so, this thing becomes equal to uh, root of 2 pi m k b t. Okay. So, I am simply using this formula here root of pi over a. So, root of pi divided by a, but a note is 1 over something. So, I get this thing, uh, but I get the same integral uh, when I solve for p 2. In fact, I will get the same for all 3n three, three of them. So, if I multiply these together, what I get is or I just uh, write slightly differently. Okay. 
¿Ya? So now we have derived the formula for the translational partition function. Uh, this will be useful later on. Uh, so we will keep it for now and once we use it I will remind you of this. For now this is nothing but the denominator of rho equilibrium of P. So now finally I get rho equilibrium of P is equal to e to the power of minus beta sum over i p i square over 2 m over 2 pi k v t m to the power of 3 n over 2. So, let us just look at it in one dimension only. So, for this I get rho equilibrium so for n equal to 1 I still have 3 momentums p x p y p z and in our notation we refer p 1 as p x p 2 as p y and p 3 as p z. And here I will substitute n equal to 1. So, I get this. Uh, so, that is your distribution of momentum in one dimension. Okay. I am trying to figure out what will be the distribution of speed. After all, I do not care what is the value of momentum in different directions x, y and z speed is a more natural quantity. I want to figure out how fast is a particle moving. Yeah, that is a very natural question to ask. So, uh, that is what I am trying to figure out. So, let us get to that. First of all, uh, let us be formal and define speed. A speed is nothing but root of uh, well, v1 square plus v2 square plus v3 square, where v1, v2, v3 are the velocities in x, y and z direction. But I write it in the language of momentums. And I call this as modulus of p divided by m, where modulus of p is this. Okay. So, I am trying to find the distribution of u. And how do I do that? Alright, so let us just look at rho once more of p1, p2, p3. Uh, this is equal to e to the power of minus beta just from last slide. The important thing to remember when converting between distributions. So, I am going from a distribution of p1, p2, p3 to a distribution of u. When you do that in whichever field, not only kinetics or thermodynamics, quantum dynamics, wherever, remember the volume element. That is very important. So, I will start writing that a little bit more explicitly. So, this is really what uh, this probability density anyway mean. In a very small volume of uh, size dp1, dp2, dp3, what is the probability of finding the system there? So, I am asking you the question, what is the probability rho u du is equal to? Okay. We will actually start with slightly different question, which is what is rho of mod p dp. Because here I have everything in the language of momentum. So, I will start with momentum and then I will go back and answer this question. Uh, now, uh, to calculate this I will have to remind you a little bit of what is called the spherical polar coordinates. You must have seen this in some form or another. Uh, it occurs in many, many different contexts. So, uh, 
imagine you have three dimensions x, y and z. I define a new coordinate system which is called r, theta and phi. r is nothing but what uh, we are looking for in the previous slide. Theta is the angle that the vector r makes with the z axis and phi is the angle that uh, the projection of the vector r on the x y plane makes with the x axis. So, a few important properties that I want to uh, remind you of r goes from 0 to infinity, theta goes from 0 to pi and phi goes from 0 to 2 pi these are the limits and more importantly what is the volume element in this. So, dx dy dz is equal to r square sin theta dr d theta d phi. Okay. So, now the rho equilibrium I had already written in the last slide I have forgotten to write dp1, dp2, dp3. Uh, I want to find rho equilibrium p theta phi dp d theta d phi that is my first challenge. Okay. So, that you can see e to the power of minus beta this you note is mod p square over 2m. Once more mod p is nothing but root of p1 square plus p2 square plus p3 square divided by 2 pi k b t m to the power of 3 half. Uh, and now we introduce the volume element that we talked of in the last slide which is mod of p square sin theta d p d theta d phi. But this is not what we wanted right. We wanted rho equilibrium of just p. I, I do not care which angle theta and phi it is. Anyway, theta and phi are arbitrary, they depend on my axis choice. So, what I am going to do is I integrate over all of theta and all of phi. Okay. So, because uh, I want the average uh, value of theta and phi. Again, the range of theta is 0 to pi, phi is 0 to 2 pi and I write this whole thing here. And I write dp separately. I should have a dp here as well. So, what I do is I take the terms that are independent of theta and phi outside the integral. And then I integrate over theta and phi. So, for theta you note I have sin theta, for phi I have d phi. I leave it as a homework for you to prove this is equal to 2 and this is equal to 2 pi. These are very easy integrals you should be able to do. So, in total I get uh, 4 pi mod rho square mod p square I am sorry 2 pi k b t m to the power of 3 half e to the power of minus beta p square over 2 m. So, I calculate this rho equilibrium I have just copied it from the last slide, uh, but I wanted rho of u not p. Yeah. So, well that is not very hard now. I note that u is defined to be mod of p over m and so du is d mod of p over m and so we just substitute these quantities here p is mu 
dp is m du. So, this becomes equal to e to the power of minus beta 1 over 2 m mod p square which is m square u square 2 pi k b t m to the power of 3 half 4 pi uh, p square which is nothing but m square u square dp which is nothing but m du. This is rho equilibrium of u du. So, I just simplify this a little bit this m cancels with this. Uh, just massaging a little bit here and there I get 4 pi u square and uh, I just transform this into this form. You can quickly verify whether I have written it correctly or not. Make sure you can do this if I have made a mistake then please correct. Uh, so, this is the final form I get for the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. It is a very famous distribution, it is named after these two outstanding scientists Maxwell and Boltzmann who have contribu contributed immensely towards statistical mechanics. Uh, so, let us just look at one thing, how we let us make a plot of it. Okay, so, I just want to look at as a function of u how does rho equilibrium of u look like? Okay. So, well if you look at it this function is a product of two different functions one is u square. So, u square looks like this. So, I am just qualitatively trying to find how the curve will look like. And the other function is this Gaussian and this Gaussian looks like this. This will keep on going till, in, uh, till it reaches 0 at infinity. Very qualitatively, I am not being very precise here. Okay. So, if I take a product of these two, my question is what will you get? So, I would recommend uh, pause the video, take a moment and multiply this on yourself do not take help of any computer or anything and make a plot. Hopefully you pause the video and made the plot by your own self. So, the point to note is that rho equilibrium I should change the color rho equilibrium of u equal to 0 is 0. If I put u equal to 0 this red thing goes to 0 and rho equilibrium of u equal to infinite is also 0 because the green thing goes to 0. So, I start with 0 here and I must end with 0 as well. So, I get a function that increases initially and then over time it decreases and goes to 0. Okay. So, this is the Boltzmann Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. All right. So, I have a challenge to you a question you have this distribution good. Uh, in the previous module we calculated the average momentum and we showed it is equal to 0. Uh, what is your guess what will be the average speed will it be 0 greater than 0 or less than 0. So, uh, please go to this link that is provided here and uh, answer there this is completely anonymous this is for your own good and you will get an immediate feedback based on your answer. So, hopefully all of you have answered this question based on whatever you think it is right. Let us try to solve it now. So, the average u well how do I find average u? It is the same trick integral over du rho equilibrium of u into u. Now, the question is what is the limit for u? Is it minus infinity to infinity or 0 to infinity? it is 0 to infinity. Remember that u is magnitude, it can never be negative, we are only dealing with the overall quantity. And so, we substitute all of this uh, big formula here. So, 
4 pi u square e to the power of minus beta m u square over 2 into u. So, we take uh, all the constants out of the integral and what we are left with is 0 to infinity du u cube e to the power of minus beta m over 2 u square. And again as before we will provide you the integrals when you need the integrals. This is slightly complex integral and so we have provided you the answer here on how to solve. So, to uh, match these two my a here will be beta m over 2. So, I get m over 2 pi k t 3 half into 4 pi and 1 over 2 a square 2 a is uh, I will write this as m over 2 k b t because I have k b t in this equation. So, m square into k b t square. So, uh, you can go ahead and simplify this equation and show this is equal to root of 8 k b t over pi m. So, this is clearly greater than 0. So, uh, by the way you did not had to do the math to uh, tell whether it is greater than 0 or not. See speed is a positive quantity. Yeah, so, if I am averaging over a lot of particles over positive numbers only, well you are going to get some positive number right. So, it cannot be 0, it cannot be less than 0. I have some speed of some particle which is positive and so you can formally show it is equal to this. So, in summary today uh, we have looked at the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution of speed. It is a very important distribution and this will be very useful in the coming modules when we discuss kinetic theory of collisions. We have shown that the average speed is equal to root of k 8 k t over pi m. Please do not memorize any of these uh, as and when needed we will always be providing you equations. This is not a memory going to be a memory test, this is not going to be a mathematics test. Uh, finally, one another thing just keep in mind for future, we have also derived what is called a translational partition function as m over 2 pi k t to the power of 3 over 3 n over 2. Thank you very much.